Okay, here's another thing that I want to just say. Just because someone does not acknowledge that you did something. Let's say I write a journal entry today, but I just choose not to share it with anyone or I choose not to publish it or to tell anyone that I did it. That does not mean that it didn't happen or it isn't real just because you don't know about it. And I think that this is the thing that a lot of people, because they are hyper consumed with social media and with stalking other people's lives as opposed to living their own that they are missing. Like I've said this in other videos, your worldview is small. It's small because you are only one person and you only have 24 hours every day. Like there is only so much information that you as an individual can consume. And that's a big part of actual, like learning is an active and passive process. As in like, in order for you to actually retain new information, you need to contextualize it with the information that you already have. And that takes, that's a process. It doesn't, the first time you are introduced to new information, it isn't going to make sense. It's not going to stick. You're going to get 0.1% of that information coming in. The rest of it's going to go over your head. So the, the fact of the matter is, if you were like fully alert and had 100% capacity to like, capture new information, then you'd be a robot. You'd be an artificial intelligence machine. But you're not. You are one human with one lived, uh, you know, uh, lifestyle choice perception and you understand what you understand about the world. But just know, there's a lot of shit that you don't understand. This is why it's interesting. That that's why we have parents, right? Parents are simply old people in society and the thing about being old in society is like you've lived through shit you could read a million books like let's say you were the fastest six-year-old reader in the world and you read every fucking book you read all the books in the library so now you feel like oh well, i know all the stories i know everything that could happen in the world well this is not true right because like here's the thing when the person wrote the book it was at a certain period in time the world was a certain way at that time and then time moved on and shit changed, right? Like nothing ever stays the same. These are not constant systems like life is iterative and it's moving. There's inputs, there's outputs, there's feedback loops, there's cause and effect. Like I do something to you, then you do something to me and then I do something to someone else and then I write something about it and maybe I share or I keep it private or I dance or I sing or I eat or I buy something or I go to... All of these things happen and everyone is making different choices. Even not making a choice is a choice. Being inactive, that's a choice. Passivity, it's a fucking choice. Every day when you do something or you don't do something, that is you making a choice, which is simultaneously changing society, right? Like every day that there are law abiding citizens, then the world becomes, our society becomes a better place because more people learn how to follow the law. But also we have people who are not abiding by the law. And like now we have more criminals introduced into society. Like all of those things are happening at the same time. Now, this is why we still have crime because like not all crime could be solved, right? There's only so many police officers that could only be in so many places at one time and solve this many crimes. Like there's just a finite capacity for everything, including resources like food and housing and really education. Like everyone's not going to get everything. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I don't know whose parents didn't tell them that when they were growing up, but that's a real thing. Like what you got, you know, maybe take in what you got whatever information you got and then try to look for more information try to find someone else who has a different lived experience than you and understand what makes their life different than mine and how could i use this information to make my lived experience better you don't go and take shit from other people instead you say how did you do that how did you get that how did it make you feel and you use that as context in your own life to change your own life hopefully for the better but sometimes it's for the worse